So you remember back in the day, sitting in your house, playing like, you know, till four or five in the morning, yeah, yeah. jamming like that. Yeah, on stuff. Right, that's what it, yeah, <laughs> all the time, man. Or you would fall asleep, yep. wake up, or I would fall asleep, wake up, <laughs> yeah. and Reggie would still be playing. <laughs> all the time. Reggie, Reggie and Jimmy Lawson. Yeah, all yeah. Still, yeah, oh, yeah, man. yeah, yeah, wow. Fun days, fun times. <sighs> yeah. Something in the water, then. Well, yeah. I mean, I mean, it was each other. Each other, know, yeah. That was a thing, you know. It's a different day now where people practice by themselves. Yeah. You know, when we got together, it was a group of people, especially in the summer, all day. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. All day, mm-hmm. you know. It was like we didn't have baseball games, nothing. We weren't playing video games. We weren't on the <laughs> internet, Facebook, YouTube. We were playing music, man. In some yeah. capacity, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And just all types, because that was, I tell people, like, you know, I was like, yeah, I grew up with Victor, and we used to play and jam all the time, and it's just like, we were just playing music. We didn't yeah. say it was like this or yeah. that. or Exactly. You know, <laughs> I thought about it, too, because when we were younger, like, okay, like now they have pop music. Yeah. When we were younger, pop just meant popular. Yeah. So pop music was whatever was popular, <laughs> so it could be rock yeah jazz blue it could be mm-hmm. anything and we mm-hmm. and you're right we played it all yeah. Yeah. maybe that's why you're you're so like you you still play it all today saturday night live or herbie mm-hmm. or daft punk you know but same with you, you know what I mean? <laughs> well we grew up the same time same era same surroundings mm-hmm. it makes sense anything that anything that used to catch our ear you mm-hmm. know Right. I mean, anything. Anything. <laughs> Which was anything. Yeah. You know? uh-huh. And man, we were around like when Weather Report and Jocko hit, when Return to Forever and Stanley Clark hit, Willie Weeks with Donny Hathaway. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Holsworth. And, Ooh, man. Uh, yeah. we, just think about it, we were around during that time, man. Yeah, Marcus Miller. Marcus. Producing all that <laughs> stuff. And Marcus is another one, like, you know. Yeah. From Miles to, to Luther Vandross to. I used to love yeah. that Luther stuff, man. I know. <laughs> All yeah. that and the Miles stuff. And right. yeah, I mean, yeah, that's we grew up doing that. And that's right. how I think that's how him and, and Lenny White and all those dudes, they were the Bernard. Right. right. They had that same thing, that that yeah. Queens thing. A lot of those guys are from the same neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. Now we find people put together bands from the internet. Like mm-hmm. or or, or <clears throat> what's it called? Uh that's one of those newspaper things. I need a bass player. <laughs> For us, we just walked up the street. <laughs> 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 just walk yeah, yeah, up yeah. the street, but, yeah. you know, and uh, and there was no competition, you know. Everybody was just yeah. sharing. Yeah, you know, like the guys we were talking about, Ralph and Keith Horn, mm-hmm. John Billings. And, yeah, uh, I think it was yeah. the. Uh, I think the interactive experience and learning from that, mm-hmm. which I think, you know, I'm getting off my soapbox, but you know, it's like that's the experience that's missing because, like is. you said, you know, you're like in it. Right. On a screen. Yeah. And you don't get to interact. Or... Right. That's the missing ingredient. The, yeah. For me, the number one missing ingredient. Yeah. And I, I say stay on that soapbox because yeah. people need to yeah. get back together and play music, mm-hmm. you know. Because you see it like on, you know, on you know, YouTube or whatever, people will learn one thing well enough to put it online with the intention of getting a lot of hits. Right. Right. And that, <laughs> that, I mean, that wasn't even in our mentality Just at for, all. Yeah, that was for, we did it for the love. For, for the it. love of the music yeah. and the love of each other. We would buy a record and we would all come together and sit down and listen to it. it. It wasn't a solo thing, put my headphones. We shared it, we studied it, we read every credit. Exactly, exactly. You know? Oh, James got the new Jocko record. <laughs> right, let's go to James' house. You yeah. know, Reggie got the new, yeah. record, whatever, yep. you know. Yeah, yeah. But nowadays you download the song you want, not the record. You download the song you want, listen to it out of order, right? <laughs> Email someone for the tab <laughs> to learn it, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I shouldn't complain, but I'm complaining. Uh-huh, Because it's uh-huh. just a different day, you know. It is, it is. I guess every generation is different, though, right? Yeah. And they have, you know, they will contribute something also. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, cool. Well, it's good to be back here with you, man. Oh, Always like a pleasure, old times. man. Always yeah. a pleasure, man. Really I, cool. It's always, always a pleasure. I think back all those times, or maybe I'd be in, in the house playing with Reggie, yeah. and you'd be in the front yard juggling or something like that. <laughs> then yeah. you come in, or, or I remember 
when you first started spinning your bass in the front yard. Uh, you remember, yeah, in the front, <laughs> that's right. In the front yard is exactly right where yeah. I learned it. Yeah. yeah. Reggie saw MTV, and I think I think it was Cinderella. Yeah, and they were and they were doing it. And Reggie's <laughs> like Victor. You know? <laughs> So we, you know, we broke a few instruments. We had to learn the hard way. <laughs> the and you need not. strap locks. Right. We didn't have strap locks, so we used tapes. We just tape our straps on. Like, yeah, yeah. It's a good day, man. The 70s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. Great era for music. But it's, it's, it's kind of, not full circle, but it's kind of amazing. Like, we think back in those times and, like, you know, where we are now in our careers and what has happened. And it's just... What's been consistent is the love of the music right. and the love for playing bass. And, yeah, yeah. Um, it, it, it is kind of amazing now to to <laughs> to you know turn on the TV and see you. Mm -hmm. um, and I remember some of the first stuff I got to see with you was some of the early Brecker Brothers yeah, stuff, yeah. With Michael and Randy, and just saying, "Whoa, there's James," you know. But then I would you know come up to New York and see Billy Drummond. Mm-hmm. Or Steve Wilson. Yeah, Steve's you playing know, with Chick now. Yeah, uh, Karen Briggs. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. it's like wow, you know, because we had a great area, but not a whole lot of outlet. You know, some people had to leave the area. Yeah, you know, who was well, and Carter was playing with Carter Secrets. Beaufort. Yeah, Carter, that whole Secrets band that yeah. pretty much eventually became the Dave Matthews band. Yeah, with yeah. Tim yeah. Reynolds. Yeah, even uh, Butch Taylor mm -hmm. was playing keys for a while mm -hmm. with Dave. Mm -hmm. And uh, so yeah, Carter. Uh, I remember Carter when he was on playing with Ramsey Lewis on. Uh, no, was it Ramsey Lewis? Yeah, no, they were uh, playing on BET. On BET, right, right, right. We used to do gigs with Tom Brown together. He and I. Wow. And he would come, wow. and on our way down to the Virginia Beach, on his well, he would stay at my my parents' house. Carter, <laughs> both of. Wow. Yeah. yeah. O'Till. O'Till. O'Till and Kofi. <laughs> That's right. Wow, man! I remember when they showed up. They got to Virginia a little bit later than us. Mm -hmm. Like they weren't like you know from there originally but they but were they, when they came it was like oh I know and we used to go down to the beach and check them exactly. out exactly it was like oh there's a new cat in town <laughs> they're brothers uh oh <laughs> the Burbridge brothers yeah, was yeah. I said uh, Otil where you from he was like I'm from Egypt <laughs> okay but man he had a sound man. he did he did instantly and his older brother Kofi mm -hmm. it was a rich area man and the cool thing is we immediately sought each other out. Yeah. You know, yeah. With, the, with the, you know, just for the love of music, you know. Yeah. 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 Talking about back in the, in, back in the day. Back in the right? day. As soon as we say back in the day, that means we're old. Right? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> but we're still working. We're still playing. That's the cool thing about music is, is there's no age limit. You know, like sports, you got to hit gotta, that small window. Yeah. With music, it's like wine, man. It just gets better and better. Mm -hmm. You, you know? can play till, play till drop. drop. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, that's no time soon for us, man. man. Um, what was some of the, the some of the tunes that we used to jam on back then? Um, oh man, back when we had all real bass players. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, had the Gap Band. We had Cameo. Wow. Uh, yeah, Robert Wilson with the Gap Band. Jeez, um, yeah. What was that song? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know if this is the right key. <laughs> shake your booty. Shake, 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 shake. <laughs> shake your booty. The disco. Yeah, right, right. right. Gatman, Robert Wilson. That's some oh, good stuff, man. Oh, what about, um, well, Prince, we used to listen to Prince, uh, yeah. Let's Work. Let's Work. You remember that? Prince played that, right? I think so. Yeah, yeah, he's funky, man. Prince was a funky bass player. I know. He was funky <laughs> on everything he did. Yeah. Right. And before Prince, uh. Yeah. Larry. Yeah. Yeah. Larry, Larry. 
Perry still kicking it. Mm-hmm. Still kicking mm-hmm. it, man. So many great bass lines. What I think we were talking about this one. I don't know the right key, but. So do boom do. Was that cameo? Cameo. I just want to be Another cameo out of six. <laughs> I don't know the right key. Back when it was all real bass players, too. Oh, yeah. Ah. I don't know this key. So much Prince has so much stuff. Uh, I don't know if that's the right kid. Shout, by down to the ground, let's man. Shout, man. We could stand here all day doing this. I forgot that. Yeah, got been got. So many of them, mm-hmm. so many of them. Mm-hmm. Groove tonight. Earth and Fire. Oh. Yeah. What about you? Slave? Yeah. Woo, slide. Slide. Yeah. Slide. Oh, yeah. No matter like how much time has passed and us being on our busy schedules and all that stuff, it's always nice to like get back together. Get back together. Always good to see you, man. You too. Yeah, Yeah, man. (laughs) Definitely. James Genus. Take the root. Standing in the middle of a grass field in the British countryside is the perfect setting to introduce this new and exciting brand launched by the Giving Stream Limited called Your Farmer.
Direct from British Farms, your farmer have a variety of products available. Whether it's a butchery product, dice meats, mince meat, sausages or burgers, or if you're looking for oven ready products that's been slow cooked by a team of qualified chefs, a variety of potato dishes or vegetable dishes in both a single portion or a family range, your farmer has everything you're looking for. British agriculture is so important and that's why every ingredient your farmer use is sourced from British producers grown on farms just like this in the UK. Seven days a week, 365 days a year, our farmers work hard to produce an excellent tasting product using high welfare farming methods, a free range grass fed beef and lamb as an example produces a high quality product. Your farmer are proud of where they source the ingredients from, so much so that they bespoke built a footprint system so you, the consumer, can trace every ingredient within the meal right back to the British producer. One simple scan using the Your Farmer app or by simply opening the camera on your phone. Scan the packaging and this allows you to trace every ingredient within the meals or within the butchery products straight back to the British producer so you know where your food has come from. The Your Farmer brand has a conscience. As well as supporting British agriculture, the brand has pledged its support to help support people that are living in food crisis here in the UK. Every time a butchery product is sold, a packet of sausages as an example, or every time a farm finest meal is sold, a free meal is then donated to help feed somebody in food crisis. Now the brand benchmarks its prices against major retailers, so you the consumer are not paying for this. This is all done through the profits of the brand. But without your custom, we are unable to offer this support. So if you're an individual consumer looking to do a family shop or you're a buyer of a commercial or government department, buy your farmer. As well as putting great tasting products on the table, you're supporting British agriculture, which is so important, and you're also helping to feed families in food crisis, which is equally important. So go to the store, check it out, download the app for free. This is a nationwide service and you will not be disappointed. Thank you very much for watching this video.